Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yes, there was some uh, there was some audio problem. I hope it is it is uh, fine now. I hope it is all all clear now. Uh, if my voice is clear to everyone, just put that uh, in the comment section, in the chat section, if you can put. Uh, if I'm audible to you now, all right. So, uh, welcome, 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 guys. Uh, very good morning, uh, and a very warm welcome to all of you to Example and Current Affairs series. Okay, due due to some technical uh, uh, problem, the session is delayed. Okay, the session was delayed. Uh, we apologize for that, but uh, nevertheless, nonetheless, we are here with the session. All right. So <clears throat> sometimes uh, small things, uh, technical small things, they do happen. All right. All right. So yeah, I will, as I was saying, so CGL aspirants, it's a boon. This session is a is a blessing for all the CGL aspirants. But uh, not only CGL aspirants, but anyone who's trying to uh, take paper or uh, for CHSL, that is just around the corner. The notification is going to be out on the sixth of December. So anyone uh, who, who who wishes to write any SSC exam, CGL, CHSL, CPO, GD, MTS. So for all these exams. This current affairs session is very very important. Okay, yes. So I have a few friends joining in. Muskan, very good morning, Muskan. Sai, Sai Teja, good morning, Sai. Very warm, warm welcome. Bhagav, good morning and welcome. Um, Priya, yes. Priya, good morning and welcome. I am very well, thank you. How are you guys doing? How is everyone doing? All right. So without further ado, let's just move quickly into the session without wasting wasting any more time. So current affairs session, yes. Example mein swagat hai. Welcome to Example, Daily Current Affairs, sure. Okay, so motivational quote, yes, if you can dream it, obviously you can do it. So you have to be a dreamer first. You have to have that dream that I want to become X, Y, Z and then you have to work for it. So dreaming is very important if you want to achieve something in life, okay. The desired result. So, one, two, three, let's go guys, let's go. Alright, so question number one for everyone, question number one for everyone. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just push on the pedal and we'll just accelerate, okay? <clears throat> Question number one. Exercise Vajra Prahar 2022 is a joint special forces exercise of India with which country? Okay, India with which country? So, it's a bilateral exercise. It, it is with India plus with, with uh, which other country? So generally, military exercises, maritime exercises, air exercises are very important in any shift of the examination. Uh, probably you'll find one to two questions from this uh, question, from this area of military exercises. They are very, very important. Uh, and uh, this exercise, uh, it happened in Himachal Pradesh. In Himachal Pradesh this year, okay. And once, uh, to, this year it was in Himachal Pradesh. Next year it will be in this, one of the following countries. And the third year again in India and fourth year some other country okay so sai has given the answer us and uh, india uh, uh, and muskan has given the answer us then priya has given the answer us bhargav has given the answer us so every single one yes every year this will happen in uh, balko yes uh, himachal pradesh is correct so guys you are absolutely correct vajra prahar vajra prahar is absolutely correct the answer is usa united states of india and uh, india uh, does do a lot of, lot of exercise with other friendly countries, okay. Okay, so uh, what happens in a military exercise? Military exercise, we have military games. For example, search and rescue, okay. Uh, there, there will be a bunker, a post. You have to capture this post. You have to cross that line without knowing the other party, okay, without letting the other party know. So such kind of military games are played and they, they uh, the, the camaraderie between the forces is increased, okay. That is how it is. So one is done. Let's see number two. Let's see number two. Okay, so when is the International Biofuel Day observed? When is the International Biofuel Day? So, Biofuel Day, <clears throat> we all know that fossil fuels are fossil fuels are a big problem in, in, in the sense that they are very, very polluting in nature. They are very, very polluting in nature. So, fossil fuels are very polluting in nature. But we are going to use, we are going to use biofuels from now. We are, the governments are very, very active. Okay, the governments are very, very active, active and the governments, uh, they, they want to use, they want to, you know, decrease their dependency on fossil fuels and they want to increase uh, on biofuel and other renewable sources, you know, energy, energy security is important, but we are moving away from fossil fuels for two main reasons. One, they are not sustainable. They are going to last for another 80 years or 100 years in the best case scenario. Uh, after that, they, they, they will be gone. And secondly, they are very polluting in nature uh, because of use, because we are using them at a, such an extensive rate that uh, we are going, we are facing climatic problems. So yes, so 
So, which is the correct? Muskan is saying August. Yes, Muskan, August. Which one? 6, 7, 8 or 10. Uh, Sai is saying C, that is 8. Uh, then we have Bhargav. Bhargav, what is the correct answer? Priya, what is the correct answer? Um, then we have Dana also. Hmm. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so uh, Dana, very sad to hear that. But uh, <clears throat> I, I, totally, I totally understand the pain. Okay, so Dana... Okay, Dana, what, what one thing we can do, we can always assess, okay, where we went wrong. What was the cutoff? You said 142 on 200 is not a bad score. It's not a bad score. Uh, so, what was the actual score to be crossed and where, what, what were the areas where you went wrong? Okay, you have to understand your advantages and then you have to understand your disadvantages. So, work on your disadvantage. Okay, take the paper, get the mark sheet and see where did you went wrong. So, wherever you went wrong, just, you know, make those sections, make those subjects really, really strong. Okay? It's okay. So, August, August, okay. So, C, Bhargav and Priya, C. So, guys, the correct answer is, correct answer is option C, Keniche wala, that is below C, that is D. August 10 is correct. Okay? August 10 is correct. But you guys are making good guesses. Okay? Dana is saying, I missed by just 8 questions. So, uh, was it a problem of uh, time management? Was time management an issue? Were, were you not able to do the 8th questions? Then you have to do a lot of practice. So, Dana, just understand one thing. You are very, very close to your target. You are very, very close to your goal. Alright? Uh, only a few tweaks here and there will, will, you know, will move you far. Okay? So, that is amazing. That was the first exam in self-study. That is a very amazing part. So, you are very, very close to your goal. You know, give yourself that confidence that you are, you did your self-study and then you cleared the, you are almost there. So, you are going to get through in the second attempt. Just do not repeat the mistakes, okay? Just rectify those mistakes. Alright? So, this is done. Biofuel do, the biofuel day, August 10, okay? Let's see number 3 now. Let's see number 3, everyone. Okay? So, if you are watching the session and haven't, uh, haven't uh, uh, you know, gave this session a thumbs up, I would request you to press the like button and give, give the thumbs up and mark your attendance. Okay, so next question is, where was 2022 International Telecommunication Union, ITU, Regional Standardization Forum, RSF, for Asia and Oceania? The meeting was held out of, out of the following. Where? Out of the following. So, Dana, you, very, very nice, you have identified, you have identified your pain point, you have identified the area to be worked upon. So, my suggestion would be, you, uh, you have to do a lot of practice. You have to solve a lot of practice questions. So, I assume you have not solved enough questions or enough papers in a time-bound fashion. If the exam is for 120 minutes, give yourself 110 minutes. Okay, give yourself 110 minutes and then solve the paper. Okay? So, enough practice will, will see you through. Do not worry. Do not worry. So, uh, what is the answer, guys? Okay, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. I, I can see the likes, uh, you know. Going up, you're marking your attendance, very nice. Muskan is like Singapore with uh, with an emoji, okay. Singapore, okay. Singapore, Jakarta, New Delhi or Muscat. So, we're talking about International Telecommunication Union Regional Standardized Forum meeting. Such questions will come in the exam because you will have to understand these events are very important. These events are very important. You have to understand with the venue. So, Muskan has given the answer, Singapore. The answer, guys, is, is D, New Delhi. The answer is D, New Delhi. So, New Delhi is the correct answer for International Telecommunication Regional Standardized Forum. Okay? Okay, Bhargav is saying, hey, so I'm, I'm getting the answers now. I'm getting the answers now. Okay? So, guys, you have to be very, very quick and a uh, lot of data. Do a lot of practice, practice, practice. See the sessions, revise the questions. Okay? You don't, you do not have to, you don't have to find any logic behind the question. You have to see the question, you have to understand the answer. In the examination, I've, I've told that once in the examination, you are not supposed to think. Examination hall is not for thinking, it's for actions, it's for doing. Put your head down and mark the answers. Look at the computer screen, mark the answer. If you are looking away from the computer saying, looking up the ceiling, down the floor, left to your right, and thinking about the answer, you are not doing justice to yourself. Examination is of 60 minutes. 60 minutes, guys. One hour, that's it. One hour, 100 questions. 60 minutes are gone. You're blink, you're gone. 
okay 60 minutes are done like that if you think your 5 minutes are gone you think again 10 minutes are gone okay so examination is it's not for thinking it's for actions back to back back to back answers and that can only be achieved by lots and lot of practice okay done number fourth let's see number fourth number fourth which day has been which day has been dedicated as world lions day world lions day because the the population of the lions are actually uh, you know dwindling and to uh, push forward the population of lions such lion day and other days other uh, animals are identified whose population are decreasing so those days are celebrated to create awareness to create awareness okay so uh, a world lion day world lions day is observed on august 10 august 9 august 8 or august 7 which one uh dana is saying yes uh, we are going yes dana this is a revision session so we are going with uh every month and we are taking every week and then we are going forward okay going in the backward direction actually we started from november and now we are in august uh, then eventually we'll go to june uh, july june may april that way okay bhargav muskani is saying august 7 priya is saying august 10 then bhargav is saying option a so guys you are uh <laughs> the correct answer to the question is the same as the same as biofuel day chalo ab batao the answer is same as biofuel day that's my hint to you so you just have to remember one day and two occasion on the same day biofuel day when was the biofuel day that is the same answer for this one lions day okay a b c d the correct answer is option a august 10 the correct answer is option a august 10 all right four is done let's see number 5 okay so before we go to number 5 uh, i want to tell you about uh, the <coughs> example app uh we'll we'll keep it short we'll keep it short okay yeah bhargav is like theme asiatic line yes the theme was asiatic line okay so uh we have uh, the example app so uh example app on the example app you do not have to go any to go, you don't have to look any further the example have the example app has all the things that are required for you to clear the examination right from the live paid courses and uh, live paid courses we are coming up with chsl live co live paid courses called the safalta batch that we'll talk about uh, uh, in some time so yeah live paid courses are available on the app subject wise and topic wise quizzes are available on the app okay job alerts are available and then all pvs or pdfs are available free all india scholarship test with report card mind you a lot of stuff on the app is absolutely free except for the paid batch and that is also available at a very discounted price okay at a discounted price okay so uh, topic wise free live classes also free full length and sectional test with report card free exam wise pdfs and practice sets daily and weekly and monthly current affairs unlimited subject wise practice questions so a lot of things a lot of things are available on the app all these things are available on the app and that too free a lot of it are free okay but but the exam paid course is little uh, that is the one you have to pay for and that also a very discounted price so <clears throat> a, everything that is you that, that you require to clear an exam from point a to point z how to fill your uh, when is the exam notification coming to how to fill the exam notification form and till the last tier of the exam till the interview every step of every exam is taken well care of okay so this was about app so i hope you download the app and explore okay you download the app and you explore now and then then you let me know what did you find interesting okay okay so we just move on to the next question let's see number 5 now number 5 uh name the players who represented india as flag bearers at the closing ceremony of cwg uh, 2022 name the players who represented india as flag bearers so a big sporting event happened a big sporting event happened uh, that is the commonwealth games and india did, did exceptionally well okay we did very good at the games so expect a lot of questions expect a lot of questions from the games okay and uh, <clears throat> the question is who represented india as the flag bearers when we have the closing ceremony and when we have the opening ceremony the indian contingent the contingent of every country the, uh, that comprises of coaches the support staff and players you know they take a walk so closing ceremony at the closing ceremony who were the people who held the flag who were walking in front of the contingent with the flag in their hand 
proud. Okay, so Muskan is saying C. Amit Pangal, Amit Pangal and Mirabai Chanu. And we have uh, Sai Teja also saying C. Okay, what what Priya has to say, what Bhargav has to say, what you guys think is the correct answer? What do you guys think is the correct answer? Bhargav is saying Mirabai Chanu and Amit Pangal. Okay, superb, superb. Now we are only left with Priya. Uh, let's see what Priya has to say. Priya, what do you think is the correct answer? We received an answer from Muskan uh, Sai. Uh, okay. So, superb, superb. All of you are saying uh, C. Yes, the correct answer is absolutely option B, guys. It's option B, not C. It's option B, not C. You are very close. You were just an option down. Okay. So, Kaida Nikhat Zareen, the boxer, the boxer who won the medal, and Sharad Kamal, the table tennis player, the table tennis player who won the med, uh, medal okay so option b closing ceremony black bearers nikhat zareen and sharad kamal all right so five is done let's see number six let's see number six the drone federation of india the drone federation of india has partnered with dash to launch the him dronathon program him dronathon program so muskan uh, muskan is giving you uh, know laughing emojis so yes, we are joined by we are joined by Sonam also. Sonam, very good morning and a very warm welcome to the session. Very best. Okay. Yes, that was for opening. The question was for closing ceremony, guys. Okay. Yes, closing ceremony. So you have, as I always say, see, one thing always remember in one one thing in the exam. Uh, do not be very sure that you know all the answers first of all, because there is always a chance of misreading a question or not reading a very crucial part of the question. Sometimes a question says which of the following is not the person. Some students might just you know overlook the word not and they will read which of the following is the person. So their opening, closing, their you know th those are pain points. Those can be easily eradicated if you you just have to read the question separately and calmly. Do not read the question as the whole with option. Always read the question coolly and calmly. Read the question, slowly read the question, understand the question with the keywords, what they are saying. Flag bearers, closing ceremony, okay. Commonwealth Games, got it. Now read the options, got it. Then answer, okay. That is how it should be, okay. All right, so uh, Priya has given the answer, Indian Army. All right, so what are the answer for you? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Sonam is like, yes, sir. Yes, Sonam, yes. You know, these small, small things are very, very important because... I'm, I'm telling you again and again, it's a 60 second game. Sorry, 60 minutes game. The, your examination for CGL is 60 minutes. What, it's a one hour game. It's a 60 minutes game. That's it. Entire year, entire year on one side and 60 minutes in that examination hall on the other side. That is the weightage of that, those 60 minutes. Okay. I'm sounding like Shahrukh Khan of Chakde, you know, 70 minutes, not that. But yeah, it is very crucial. Okay, it's, it's very crucial. So always be very cool, very calm, and very composed. And uh, your practice should be on point. Okay. <clears throat> so him dronathon program uh, six maybe a. Sonam is like six maybe a. Okay. Uh, Muskan is like uh, option C Indian Army. And then we have Priya saying Indian Army as well. Okay. Uh, Okay, so Muskan is saying, sir, please stand little side from the question. I'm really sorry, guys. I think this would be just fine. Okay, or I'll probably go this way so that I can see you guys as well. I hope this is clear. Awan is like, uh, okay, Awan, hello and uh, welcome, Awan. Hello and welcome to the session, Awan. So, guys, uh, those who haven't marked the attendance, I'll press the like button. That is your, uh, you know, that is the marking attendance. Okay. I hope, Muskan, it is, it is the question is clear now. It is visible now. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, what is the answer, guys? What is the answer? The correct answer is correct answer is him. Dronathon is Indian Army. It's a Indian Army's program. We are we have we have uh, Indian Army has partners with the Drone Federation of India, in which see uh, drones are very very important. They why they are important because they are a game changer. Next generation warfare, they are a game changer. You don't have to do anything. You just have to deploy your drones with ammunition, with explosive, and just you have to, you know, let them go to any enemy side and just drop the bombs. 
okay or they can drop anything drop chemicals drop anything on the on the enemy or they can be used as for surveillance so drones have amazing capabilities so indian army has partnered with drone federation of india for to see the uh, uh, readiness the compatibility of drones in the indian army okay so indian army is also does also wants to use the uh, drones so we are uh, looking at the compatibility and training our uh, jawans and officers on for drones okay uh, okay chalo let's start okay this is done indian army drone federation of india okay i think it is just give me a second guys just give me a second here i think something collapsed chalo all right chalo uh, okay next one indian army is done let's see okay so next is next is uh, which former international cricket empire has passed away in a car crash recently so uh, you have to answer okay we have uh, bijendra saini uh, bijendra saini uh, welcome bijendra welcome very warm welcome and very good morning to the current session current affairs session okay so uh, it is heartening to see new students also all right okay so number 7 guys quickly we are on a on a you know, mission now we are on a mission now okay which former international cricket empire has passed away in a car crash recently so car crash happened unfortunately we lost that person okay uh, so uh, bhargav is saying alim dar from pakistan okay avan is saying b alim dar priya is saying d uh, muskan muskan thank you muskan thank you very muskan muskan saying welcome everyone join the class join this class every day thank you muskan for the message okay priya is saying option d option d okay okay uh, just to give you a hint the person is the person was from south africa the person was from south africa sonam priya and muskan muskan uh, is b okay so almost everyone has given the, the answer guys the correct answer is correct answer is option d option d rudy kurtzen and he was from south africa unfortunate car accident okay unfortunate cars uh, this year we lost a few people we also lost a few cricketers okay so empire also all right so seven is done uh number 8 okay okay so before we go to the number 8 so a big good news a very very big good news for everyone okay um okay acha the good news is last minute revision booster last minute revision booster five mock test five mock test full length mock test just for rupee 1 just for rupee one so what is the what is the amount you have to pay you have to pay just i am not kidding guys this is not a joke it is actually examples gift for you okay gift for you last minute revision booster exactly 1 rupees how many paper five mock test five complete set mock test uh, let me show you here okay so what you have to do you have to go on the app you have to download the app first you have to go on the app there is a uh, tab called paid course you have to click that then on the tab on the paid course you have to go to ssc ssc tab click ssc tab you will see five mock test 1 rupee and you have to press the buy course pay rupees 1 yes see here total amount 1 rupee total amount 1 rupee so 1 rupee pay just 1 rupee and have five complete mock test how cool is that how cool is that wish when i was preparing i should i should have gotten such an amazing offer okay five test just one rupees okay so i would highly recommend highly recommend go on the app right now after the don't, not right now after the session okay and buy the course okay buy this five papers for one rupee and just do not just just do not buy it solve it okay solve the papers today itself start start preparing from today okay solve the paper today at least at least prep uh, do at least two to three sets because it's one hour paper and one hour paper can be done two to three papers can be easily done today okay more than two also because high time i would highly rec recommend you or request you to solve all five papers okay but two to three are very very uh, crucial all right so this is done and uh, and how to attempt the test how to attempt the test and uh, then you have to go uh, once you are once you are done once you are done at the very very bottom you have my courses at the very bottom you have my courses 
and when you go to my courses then you have that cgl 1 rupee 5 uh, courses tab here press that and the exam and the paper would start 1 2 3 4 and click on anyone and the paper will start click on anyone and paper will start okay and then you have total score also how cool is that okay chalo great offer yes 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 of course of course great very very great offer okay Avani is saying Muskan is a brand ambassador of uh, this class. Of course, every single one of you is, is the brand ambassador of this class. Okay. If you are liking the session, if you are learning something new, then, you know, spread the word. If you are not liking it, if you are not enjoying the session, let me know. Let me know what to do. I will do that. Okay. I want learning to be fun. I want learning to be fun. We all want learning to be fun. It has to be fun. And current affairs is also the most, you know, important and very uh, fun thing to attempt. All done. All set. Okay. So for any help, for any help, for call on this number. If you if you if you find yourself in any sort of trouble, uh, call on this number and also you can email. Okay. So this was a very good news, a very great offer I want to share with you and a very noble initiative. Okay. All right. So before we move to the next question, uh, there's another another thing I want to tell you. Today is what today is um, uh, today is Saturday and every Saturday what we have we have geography. PYQ previous year question CGL uh, marathon for two hours. Uh, the general time is three to five, but today there's a shift in timings. It's four to six. It is four to six. So guys, just to tell you, it is not three to five today. It is not three to five today. It is four to six. It is four to six. Just an hour, you know, just a one hour shifted. All right. Chalo. Okay. So before moving on, uh, let's just uh, let's just ask uh, solve this question guys so what is the answer a tennis legend from the united states dash has announced her retirement okay so a tennis legend has retired a big big legend a big name uh, in the in the uh, tennis industry in the tennis sports has retired if you read the question properly you will know the answer if you read the question properly you will know the answer okay so i would request uh, avan muskan priya sai and Bijendra and others to answer, to answer, okay, <clears throat> so what is the answer guys, okay, so Sonam is saying C, uh, Muskan is saying C, I think, uh, uh, Sonam is saying C, Avan, what is the answer? What is the answer? Frank Parker, Bill Johnston, Serena Williams or Jim Courier. I think if you if you read the question properly, so we are joined by Lok Prakash. Lok Prakash, welcome brother. Welcome and good morning. So when, if you read the question properly, you'll see her. So there's only one girl here, one lady or one woman. So it's pretty easy to guess. Okay, you won't expect, don't expect such question in the examination. They won't give you this. Okay, so answer is Serena Williams. Okay, a big, big name in the tennis fraternity. So number nine, let's see number nine now. Number 9, PM Narendra Modi, PM Narendra Modi dedicated a, uh, to the nation a video conferencing a second generation ethanol plant. Yes. So, a new ethanol plant, a new ethanol plant has been commissioned. You have to tell me the state it is in. Okay. The state it is uh, commissioned in. All right. So, I will have a water break. Uh, all, all, the whole question to you guys, the whole board to you. All right. So, what is the answer, guys? Priya is saying option B, Haryana. Okay. And uh, uh, Haryana is is it for ninth one or the eighth one? Okay. Priya Haryana. Okay. Uh, Lok Prakash saying B. Okay. So either you can write like uh, it's a request, guys. If you can write like nine and A or B, A, B, C, whatever, that would be great. Or you can just write the complete word also. You can write the complete word. I'll understand that way also. So, Muskan is saying Haryana with heart emojis. Okay, I can understand why. Uh, Priya Haryana Pani. Yes, guys, you, all of you are correct. All of you are correct. The second generation ethanol plant, put that in your head. The second generation ethanol plant, where? Haryana. Where in Haryana? Panipat. Okay, in Panipat. 
ओके सेकेंड जनरेशन एथेनॉल प्लांट हरियाणा पानीपत ओके ऑल राइट चलो नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन नंबर नाइन इज डन नंबर टेन ओके नंबर टेन गाइज हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग बिकम्स द फर्स्ट इंडियन सोशल साइकोलॉजिस्ट ऑन द यूएस हेरिटेज वॉल ऑफ फेम ऑफ द सोसाइटी फॉर पर्सनैलिटी एंड सोशल साइकोलॉजी सो अ फेमस इंडियन सोशल साइंटिस्ट सोशल साइकोलॉजिस्ट इज ऑनर्ड इन द यूएस यू हैव टू नेम द पर्सन यू हैव टू नेम द पर्सन सो हु इज दैट पर्सन ओके हु इज दैट पर्सन सोनम प्रिया देन मुस्कान एंड साई एंड लोक प्रकाश एंड अवान ओके या ओके सो वट इज दी आंसर गाइज I know such answers questions are little painful because you have to remember the name of the person that becomes a little difficult but but these questions these questions will will help you score more in the examination because current affairs they go everyone does maths you know reasoning everyone english also everyone does but general awareness is the section uh, which is a very vast in terms of uh, syllabus so a lot of students they generally uh, try not to score or score very less marks in general awareness and current affairs if you are, if you manage to score very well in this in this section also then nothing can stop you okay so now we have uh, sonam maybe 10a okay 10a राम अधर प्रिया सेंग टेन ऑप्शन डी ओके एंड देन साई सेंग टेन ए ऑल राइट देन प्रिया सेंग टेन डी ओके गॉड इट ओके ठीक है सो मुस्कान वॉट इज दी आंसर मुस्कान इज सेंग विजय कुमार शंकर ओके गॉड इट मुस्कान गॉड इट ऑल राइट ऑल राइट गाइज सो राम अधर जोशी ऑप्शन ए इज इन करेक्ट विजय कुमार शंकर यस विजय विजय कुमार शंकर इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट That is also incorrect. Saurav Singh, nobody, nobody uh, said Saurav Singh is incorrect. Option D is correct. All right, Ramadhar Singh. Option D is correct. Okay. Uh, Muskan Singh, yes, sir. Polity and geo is also vast subject, but don't uh, know why art stream is taken lighter. Yes, yes, yes. Art stream, art humanity stream is not a light stream. It is very difficult. It is very difficult. Uh, every stream is difficult be it commerce science or arts it's very very difficult not easy if arts stream or humanities stream was easy if that if that were a uh, little easy then it it would have been very easy to become an ias officer it it would have been begin it has been it would have been very easy to crack the civil service examination but it is actually one of the toughest ones so any any studies any studies are difficult humanities also also very very difficult okay it's not very easy uh नहीं 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 दे इज जनरल ट्रेंड पीपल से लाइक दैट बट इट्स नॉट ट्रू इट्स नॉट इजी टू स्कोर इट्स जस्ट नॉट इजी टू स्कोर अमेजिंग मार्क्स इन हिस्ट्री और जोग्राफी यू हैव टू हैव वेरी हाई डेप्थ ओके इट इज ऑल्सो ह्यूमैनिटी सब्जेक्ट आर्ट सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो हैज इट्स ऑन प्रॉज एंड कॉन्स इट ऑल इट्स ऑन यू नो एडवांटेजेस डिस एडवांटेजेस लाइक एनी अदर सब्जेक्ट इट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट सब्जेक्ट वी कैन नॉट डिनाई दैट ओके Okay, so people say okay. So Priya is Priya. Priya is laughing. Priya is laughing. Okay, all right. So guys, uh, time is done. Let's see number eleven. Number eleven. Name the author of the book titled. Name the author of the book titled Rusty Skies and Golden Winds. Rusty Skies and Golden Winds. Uh, the title. The book is written by. Yeah, Sonam. Sonam totally second that. To, to, so Sonam totally uh, agrees to that that it is not easy. Yes, it is not easy. Every every subject is difficult. It is not easy. And like I said, if humanities were were easy, if if the art stream were easy, then every second person would have been IAS officer. Every person would have been uh, an IAS officer. So to clear the civil service is very difficult. It's only humanities only, general awareness only. Okay, general studies only, in depth. So it's just not the scope of the subject is too large. Okay, guys. Uh, Rusty skies and golden winds. The book, the author of the book, the author of the book. Eleven C, eleven C. Tanidhya Sharma. 
So Priya is going with 11 C. All right. Uh, Sona, what is your answer? Muskan, what is your answer? Avan, what is your answer? And Priya, what is your answer? And uh, Sai, what is your answer? Okay, so guys, uh, let's see the answer. Okay, uh, so everyone going with C, everyone going with C, that is Sanita Sharma. So you guys are absolutely correct. All right, so guys, Rusty Skies and Golden Wind, Sanidhya Sharma. Rusty Skies and Golden Wind, Sanidhya Sharma. Remember it because in the span of six to eight months of current affairs syllabus, lot of books, lot of authors, lot of addresses, and you have to remember the name of every single one of them. Okay, so try to full put your full focus and attention on Sanidhya Sharma, Rusty Skies and Golden Wind. All right, number eleven is done. Let's see number twelve now. Okay, so before we move to number twelve. There is this announcement, Safalta Batch, as I was saying about Safalta Batch, this is for CHSL 2022 and CHSL, uh, both in the Hindi language and in the English language, we have rolled out this batch and this is especially for uh, the English one. So this is the batch, uh, the faculties for the batch, okay. And uh, notification 6 December, application starts 6 December and you can see application ended 5th January. Admit card shall be out uh, in the uh, around February and March. And date of the examination shall be around March and April 2023. Tentatively, because we are not sure, it's not mentioned. Generally, it is in that neighborhood. Generally, it is that it is in that neighborhood. Okay. So, we all know the syllabus. We all know the syllabus. Okay. Uh, reasoning, 25 questions, 50 marks. General awareness, maths, English, 25 each. 50 marks each and 60 minutes as I as I as I'm saying it's a game of 60 minutes it's a game of one hour that's it that's it all right and you and those 60 minutes should be the best 60 minutes of your life I am trying so hard to not sound like Shahrukh Khan of Chak De India but <laughs> that is how it is <laughs> that is what it is okay but you have to understand the gravity of the situation all right so you have to you have to give your best do not look up do not look down do not look left do not center right look at the screen computer screen and give your full focus full attention all right that if you can do that if you'll do that you're going to clear the exam with flying colors no doubt about it okay chalo uh, so this is done 100 questions 200 marks 60 minutes next is uh, tier 2 exam letter writing and essay also comes and uh, everything shall be taken care of okay so what are you gonna get you're gonna get 450 plus hours of live classes live foundation classes class pdf daily practice paper mock test sectional subjects P, uh, pyp previous year papers all the bundle this is the full bundle and the offer price is norm the uh, price of the session is or the batch is nominal price of 1399 nominal price of 1399 and and on top of that on top of that use code ssc50 use code ssc50 and you'll get a 50 percent discount and you will get a 50 percent discount so 50 percent discount here you know five mock papers in just one rupee there you know what else you need here yeah? what else you need from example this is the best thing you can get all right so <clears throat> Our team, uh, maths for Sanjay sir, Ankit sir, reasoning, then we have Juhi ma'am for English, then we have Deepmani sir for science, then we have Shashank sir for history and polity, then you have, um, uh, I'm I'm there for geography and uh, current affairs, and you have Devendra sir for economy, Indian economy, and uh, static GK, all right. So, as I mentioned you, there are two to three things new here, okay. <coughs> You'll get foundation live classes. Foundation live classes means uh, if you're someone uh, who at who is generally not aware about things, okay. Generally, what happens when you start a batch? There are some people who already know about foundations of any subject. There are some people who are still, you know, at knowledge wise, who are not at that level. So, found these foundation batches, they will help the person to come up at the level you should know when a before a batch starts. Okay, you should know about different states of the country, right? You should know about their capital. At least you should know about their capitals. This is the basic that we can expect from you. That is the basic level that we want to start with. So if you're not at the, that level, we'll bring you at that level. We'll put, we'll give you foundation plan, plan class. We'll put you in the foundation class, the basic, basic stuff. Okay. And then you have to move forward. Okay. And then we will, we will help you out. So foundation classes, then also current affairs, 
magazine, 2500 plus current affairs questions and instant doubt solving. So you will get magazine also, you will get current affairs question 2500 plus, 2500 plus questions and instant doubt solving. So doubt solving is a big, big problem uh, when, when it comes to the examination because you need a solid source to solve doubts. So do not uh, worry, we have dedicated faculties for instant doubt solving. You have a doubt while preparing, uh, give the doubt, or doubt to us and we will uh, we'll solve it. Okay, okay, so uh, live class, yes, live classes, uh, you have to uh, get the batch where, uh, go in the live section of the Example app, once you, we, once you have bought the batch, then uh, upcoming exam, uh, upcoming sessions, then we have all the sessions listed here, and you can watch the videos, you can which watch the app on the application, okay, and uh, Daily practice papers will be provided to you after every session. A set of few questions will be given to you. Okay. I can see you guys are laughing in the uh, comment section. Shahrukh Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shahrukh Khan. Yes. <laughs> Muskan is like, Kiran. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are having fun in the class. I, I can see that. Okay. So, instant doubt solving. Yes, you can, uh, you know, ask your doubts. Go on the doubt section, doubt tab. Ask your doubt. Put the screenshot. And then ask, ask the doubt, is ka answer kya hoga sir? A person has written it. So you can also write like that and instant doubt uh, will be solved and answers will be provided to you. Uh, then you have mock test. So mock test will be under test series. All the different mock tests are provided to you. Uh, you can attempt them. Previous papers are provided to you on the app. You can take a look at them. And then current affairs PDFs with photographs and important words highlighted. Look at this important important words highlighted which will help you to retain them in the examination okay and also questions also question on them okay important dates demo has already started so two demos are absolutely free on the app you can go and watch them okay okay uh, actual class started 28 november course validity entire year so entire year you can you can have that course with you okay so how to download the app we have already explained that you can go on the app store and rest you all know that you're all you know amazing bright students you know how to use mobiles so there's no need to explain all this we have already done this and uh, <clears throat> you after you uh, how to buy the batch go in the paid course go in the paid course section go on safalta batch buy it select your medium buy it give put the course uh, put the coupon code and pay the amount and there will be a thank you from example. You will receive your receipt. This is already explained to you. This is the section, this is the timetable for Hindi classes and this is for English. Okay. We will change it a bit because the two hours of current affairs session every day is not possible because we do not have that much material uh, of current affairs. So it will be one hour and the time shall be updated. And uh, so this is also done. So for any help, you have you can call on these numbers and you can get your help or you can also drop in a mail if you like okay so that was the explanation and i hope it is all clear to you okay okay so you guys are having a total fun in the comment section i can i can see that okay chalo okay so guys this is all done all sorted let's see now next question let's see now question number 12 now Lakshay Sen has won a gold medal for India in which game at the Commonwealth Games 2022? Lakshay Sen, as I've told you in this, uh, in, the, in this syllabus that we are going to cover, that is uh, the months that we are going to cover for CGL, that is six to eight months generally prior to the examination. And uh, we are, we had a very big sporting event for India, a big sporting in event for India. And in the event, India did really well. So expect a few questions, expect a few questions from Common, Commonwealth Game 2022. Huh? Okay, Lok Prakash, uh, Vikramaditya. Okay, so welcome Vikramaditya. Uh, Divya SD, we are going really, really fast, uh, Look, because we have to explain a lot of things. There is also explanation needed. Okay, okay. So 12, uh, the correct answer is you have to answer quickly, you have to answer quickly, we will we'll complete it for effort quickly. Okay. Okay. Next is Priya. Priya is saying badminton. Okay. What, what is the answer Vikramaditya? So option D is correct guys. Badminton is absolutely correct. 2022 Lakshya Sen 
badminton commonwealth next question number 12 is done number 13 number 13 who won the last gold medal for india in the commonwealth games of 2022 again a question from commonwealth games again a common question from commonwealth games 2022 bajrang punia sudhi sharad kamal or deepak punia which is the correct one who of the following won the last gold medal for india last gold medal for india who won it okay so enough of good mornings amongst yourself concentrate here we need to finalize we need to we are we are going we are moving a little fast here as as requested by divya and uh, and uh, lokprakash okay muskan has given the answer bajrang punia sai has given the answer bajrang punia sonam has given the answer bajrang punia are you guys sure is it bajrang punia We'll we'll take one one more answer. Sonam, yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right. So, okay. So Sonam. Okay, guys. Uh, I want everyone to answer. I want everyone to answer. Thirteen. Eh, chalo. Okay, guys. So the correct answer is Bajrang Punia. Okay, chalo. We'll move on. We'll move on to the next one. 14th 14th what was india's rank in cwg 2022 medals tally again question from the games Lo expect a few questions from the games okay so if you are someone who has joined just join please mark your attendance please like the session gives a thumb give us a thumbs up okay so what is the what was the rank of india what was the rank of india 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 uh sonam is like yeah sure thank you sonam 13 a priya cod c or d all right all right muskan 4 sai 4 very nice muskan uh, sai priya what is the answer pick one pick one priya Avan, what is the answer vikram what is the answer sonam is like fourth rank superb we'll take one or two answers more and then we'll move on uh, lok prakash fourth superb so the guys the correct answer is india's rank india's rank was fourth absolutely correct which was the country or number one which country was the number one? Which country won? Number one, Australia. Number two. Number two, it was England. Number three, Canada. And India. Alright. Super. Next one, number 15. Number 15, how many, how many medals did India win in Commonwealth Games? Again, question from the, from the games. Expect a few questions, expect a few questions from the games. You are going to see a few questions from the games. How many medals did India win in the Commonwealth Games 2022? How many of them? How many of them? So expect quick answers. Lok Prakash, quick answer. Divya, quick answer. Sai, Sai is like D. Sai is good. But Priya is like 6161. Six, six, Achha, uh, total number. Okay. So Priya is also D. Sonam is D. Priya is 61. Uh, Muskan, D option. Priya, Vikramaditya, D. Lok Prakash, D. Uh, everyone is D. And every single one of you is absolutely correct. So India, fourth rank. India fourth rank and 61 medals. Okay. 61 medals. All right. And you all know that Commonwealth game is an association of all the uh, former colonies of Britain. Whoever was slaves or were uh, uh, under the British rule, they, they have this uh, group. Okay. So Kanak, welcome. Welcome. Kanak has joined. Welcome. Kanak, welcome and good morning. So, 15 is done. Let's see number 16. 16. RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Uh, RBI has imposed a fine of 32 lakh. 32 lakh on which branch, uh, on which bank for breach of directions on classification reporting of frauds. So guys, you will see a lot of questions like that because there are many, many financial institutions, especially banks. What they do? They just try to surpass the norms. Okay. I'll just, you know, 
uh, stand aside so they can see the answer question. So uh, generally, what what they do? They do not uh, follow rules, and you will see a lot of people getting fined. A lot of banks, not people, but a lot of banks getting fined. Okay. So we have uh, Manisha Satish. Uh, good morning, Manisha Satish. Uh, welcome to the session. Uh, in today's session, I've seen a very uh, um, a new students. I've seen quite a few new students joining in today. Uh, for thank you guys. Uh, thank you for joining in today and becoming a part of the session. So quick, quick revisions, quick revision. What effort we are doing? Okay. So Manisha, what is the answer? Muskan is saying SDFC. Come on, guys. I need quick answers. Kanak, uh, Sonam, everyone. Then we have uh, Lok Prakash, Vikramaditya. Okay. Manisha, what is the answer? Everyone. So Muskan saying SDFC. Sai saying option D. Uh, with three question marks, Priya saying uh, option uh, uh, D as well, and uh, Kanak saying D, Sonam saying maybe SBI. Okay, Sonam is going a different track, Vikram is saying C, Vikram is saying C. Okay, so I've gotten a few answers. I would request, okay, Manisha got an answer from Manisha, Manisha saying D, Sonam saying maybe B. So, uh, okay, so it so except axis, except axis. You have selected B, C, and D, everything. So, if, you know, you should have a little kind enough and please select A also. You know, so option A doesn't feel bad that I'm not chosen. Everyone else is, 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 has, has gotten chosen, but I'm, I'm not being chosen by everyone. So, the correct answer is, guys, option C, Indian Bank. Indian Bank is the bank that has received a fine of 30 lakh, 32 lakh rupees. Why? Because of breaching of the conduct directions of classification and reporting of frauds. Okay, so RBI, RBI is that institution that that imposes fines on that imposes fines on banking institutions. Okay, on banking institutions. If you have an insurance company, if you have an insurance company, then IRDA, Indian uh, uh, IRDA, uh, Indian Authority, Indian Regulatory and Development uh, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. Okay, Insurance Regulatory and Dev Development Authority of India. This will impose fines on insurance companies. Okay, answer is clear. 16C, next C. Let's see next one, number 17. Okay, so they are asking who is going to organize Chess Olympiad in 2026. It is, okay, so we are joined by Dimpy also. Dimpy, uh, very warm welcome, very good morning to you. I, Acha. The Dimpy does all the work and then comes very, very sweet of you, Dimpy, to, you know, you come in the examination, uh, sorry, come in the session, very nice. And then we have Abhishek joining us on the app. Abhishek, a very warm welcome and a very good morning, brother. Uh, thank you for joining in the session. So, I would request Abhishek to answer. Abhishek is saying option 4, option 4 and option A. Uh, Abhishek, I would request you if you can just, you know, put in the question number and then put in your option A, B, C or D or you can directly type the option so I would get to know. Uh, which is the one you are answering to. So, who is going to organize Chess Olympia 2026? So, Manisha is saying C, Muskan is saying Uzbekistan. Uh, then we have uh, TR classes. TR sir, classes, I, I don't know English. Uh, TR classes, this session and this channel is primarily and only for English content and English delivery. So, I would request if you, if you understand Hindi language, we have another uh, channel for example. Example main channel, therein everything is delivered in Hindi. Okay, so you can watch that. This here we discuss everything is English because that is the name of the channel. As example, SSC exam, English medium. Okay, so Vikramaditya, Uzbekistan, Dimpi 17C, Uzbekistan, everyone saying, uh, uh, Dimpi saying, uh, no worries, Dimpi, no worries. You did your work, that is very important, and you have also managed to join the session, that is also very important. So, you did both, and also after the session is over, you can watch the first half of the session. Okay, so it's on the YouTube, no worries. So, guys, the answer is Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is going to organize Chess Olympiad to 2026. Which country? Uzbekistan. What event? Chess Olympiad. In which year? 2026. Okay. Um, Next one, 17 is done, 18. Let's see 18, guys. Current affairs questions are going very quick. You are also answering them, but do not only answer them. Try to also put them in your brain, in your head. After the session is over, the answer should be clear to you on your fingertips. Okay, and uh, 
kindly also join our telegram session ten, telegram channel uh, there will i will put all, all the pdf all the of the sessions okay so you also have the pdf i'll put it uh, the previous uh, days also and today's also i'll put the uh, uh, pdf so that you can have a quick revision also all right uh dimpy okay so uh, muskan saying happens with girls <laughs> yes there is uh, uh, that that's some work that you have to do but no worries you know uh, Manisha is saying, your good teaching for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Manisha, for the kind words. Th appreciate your words, yeah. Uh, Vikramaditya is saying, this year India hosted. Yes, Chess Olympiad, this year Chennai. India, Chennai hosted. Okay. Dimpi saying, Muskan, I'm mother and wife. Yes. Okay. So, Puneet Rajkumar, please side. Dimpi saying, please side. Okay. So, I am I am standing in the side. Okay. So, the question is, Chief Minister Basavraj Bombay has announced Karnataka CM that Kannada film star who unfortunately left us uh, last year uh, because of massive heart attack will be conferred with Karnataka Ratna award posthumously that means after the death of the person. Who is the person? Chiranjeevi Sarja, Vaishali uh, Kasaravalli, Puneet Rajkumar or Ch uh, Chindodi Leela. So the answers are coming in 18 C, 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 C. Okay. Correct, correct. So answer is Puneet Rajkumar, a very, very big star uh, of the Kannada film industry and unfortunately he passed away because of a massive heart attack um, and uh, he was loved by a lot of people he was loved by a lot of people and the Karnataka government is going to pre present posthumously the Karnataka Ratna award all right all right let's let's uh, acha just tell me one thing which is the highest honor in india which is the higher if you are if you have if you are doing something very good for society if you did something very good for the for the country, which is the highest award the government of India will give you? I want the answer in the comment section. The highest award an Indian citizen can receive. Okay. 18, 19, now 19. Now 19. Okay. So, uh, the Ministry of Defense has announced that 12th edition of the Defense Expo will be held in which year, which of the polling places. 12th edition of Defense Expo. So, defense expositions are in India and that's a big thing. Okay. Oh, so I'm getting some new answers. Vikas is saying Padma Shri, Sai saying Padma Bhushan, Lok Prakash saying Bharat Ratna, Sonam saying Bharat Ratna. Oh, guys, guys, different answers. We are saying different answers. Uh, Muskan saying Padma Shri. Oh, guys, what are you doing, my brothers and sisters? What are you doing? The highest award an Indian citizen can receive is the Bharat Ratna. Is the Bharat Ratna. That is the highest. Bharat Ratna is the highest civilian order that can also be presented to foreigners. Okay. That can also, be, and it has been provided to foreigners. But the, an Indian citizen, the highest award, this. And this is number one. At number two, Padma Vibhushan. Padma Vibhushan. Number three, Padma Bhushan and number four Padma Shri. This is the hierarchy. This is the hierarchy. Okay. Superb. Chalo. This is done. This is done. Let's see. Let's see the answer to the question. Gandhi Nagar, Delhi, Mumbai or Surat. What is the correct answer? The correct answer guys is as Vikramaditya and Dimpi and Sonam already mentioned. The answer is Gandhi Nagar. Absolutely correct. And along with Gandhinagar, we also had, we also had, we also had Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar, both of them. Okay, both of them. Yes, yeah, Sonam is like, yes, Sonam is correct. Oh, Sonam, you have Bhadrat Navai Nai Muskan. Okay, sir. All right, guys, let's see the next one. Acha. So, I asked this question about civilian honor, right? Now, in the next question, in the next question, you have to tell me the highest military honor. Previous question was for civilian honor. You have to tell me highest military honor. Highest military honor of the country. Write this answer in the uh, comment section and also this question. Okay. Which of the following state governments has launched Panchamrit Yojana? Panchamrit Yojana scheme with the aim to double Farmer's income. Farmer's income needs to be doubled. Okay, so uh, guys, kindly, kindly uh, like the session. Kindly like the session and uh, mark your attendance. Give give uh, us a thumbs up and also, also share the session, guys. Share it. 
and um, subscribe, of course. Okay, CHSL batch is out. Safalta batch is out. Uh, if you're someone who wants to prepare for CHSL, look no further than example. We have the example app. We have previous paper. We have experienced faculty. We have everything that you need to prepare for the examination. Uh, take the buy the uh, Safalta batch today only and uh, with a 50% discount it's a limited period offer okay so kindly grab it with both hands and if you're not the one who's preparing for it but you happen to know someone pass on the message or simply you can put your whatsapp status people will see that and they might get educated okay chalo the question was military honor the highest is param veer chakra the answer is param veer chakra param veer chakra then we have mahavir chakra a number two and then we have veer chakra so paramvir chakra mahavir chakra and veer chakra that is the order okay in war time we have a different set for peace time okay this is war time the answer to this question panchamrit yojana for the for the uh, increase double uh, for for the double income of Farmers, the answer is C Uttar Pradesh. To increase the uh, the the uh, income of farm, farmers by double, the answer is Uttar Pradesh. Twenty C. Let's see twenty one now. Let's see twenty one now. Okay, so Vikram is saying my mocks are going good, but not in GS section. GS section is uh, it has to be tamed a little, you know. Um, but there is a way to uh, do your GS section also. There are a lot of questions, practice, live classes. But it is achievable. It is achievable. Okay. But practice is, is key. Practice is key. Uh, if, if, you are, if you are with me, then uh, we can do a lot of practice. Don't, don't be worried about that. So Manisha is saying C. Muskan C. Vikramajan never lose hope. Yes. Muskan is very motivating. She is very encouraging. Very nice. All right. So done. Achha, next question 21. Which of the following companies has launched the India Ki Udan project? To mark 75 years of independence. To mark 75 years of independence, India's independence, which of the following companies has launched India Ki Udan? Okay. India Ki Udan. Okay. So, what do you think is the correct answer? Amazon, Mahindra and Mahindra, TCS or Google? Lok Prakash saying B, Mahindra and Mahindra. Uh, then we have Sai, Sai saying 21 C, TCS. Okay, Sai got your answer. Vikram saying C, TCS. Okay. Uh, Lok Prakash said uh, Mahindra, okay. Vikram saying TCS. Okay. Sonam saying C, TCS. Okay. So we are fighting between B and C. So you guys are, you guys are saying either B or C, mostly. C, Muskan is saying C. Muskan is saying TCS. So nobody is going for Amazon or Google. That is for sure. Either it is TCS or Mahindra. You know why? You know why? Because you guys have seen that it is India's independence. So it has to be an Indian company. Yeah. If that is the idea, if that is the idea, then uh, uh, you are wrong, guys. It is not that. It, India's independence is not solely celebrated by Indian companies. It can also be celebrated by other companies who are working in India. Okay. They, they, these guys must have, have, uh, must have had a different campaign. This is India Ki Udan. This project, they're talking about India Ki Udan. These guys must have had a different project. Uh, so, Vikram is changing. Vikram is like, oh, sir, no, 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 Google, Google. <laughs> guys, you are correct. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're selected option D, then you are correct. The answer is Google. The answer is Google. So, Google is the company which has launched this project. Which one? India Ki Udan. We are talking about India Ki Udan, 75 years of uh, independence celebrated by Google. Clear? Clear? Okay. That is why that is why practice is very important because when you practice, what you do, you do a very, very important thing and that is commit mistakes. When you commit mistakes, then you understand, oh, I was wrong here. And you will never commit the same mistake. You will never commit. Okay. India Ki Udan could be a foreign company also and it is uh, Google. All right. Manisha is also saying, sorry sir, option D. So Manisha is correct, Vikram is correct and Sonam is laughing. Sonam is like, ya, yeah, oh, and Sonam is given an emoji. Okay, chalo. We'll see the next one, guys. 21 is done, 22. Let's see 22 now. PV Sindhu bagged the gold. Okay, 
beating dash in the commonwealth games 2022 women single badminton final so in the final exam uh, sorry final exam in the final uh, in the finals of uh, women's uh, single badminton which is no less than an exam which is no less than an exam so pv sindhu backed gold medal who of the following or who among the following she defeated or was defeated or in other words won a silver medal okay so caroline Mar marin very amazing player wong yihan uh, lee azuri uh, or michelle lee so which the following is correct a b c d guys like the session share the session also chsl batch safalta is out also also there is five mock papers for 1 rupees and also there is a telegram channel we have a telegram channel and link to the telegram channel must be in the description or i'll put in the comment section and uh, yesterday yesterday i asked a question about uh, which of the following countries also celebrate 15 in, in 15 august as their independence day and i've asked you guys to put the answer in the comment section nobody did nobody did except amrita Except Amrita, she has not joined today, but she 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 wrote the answer. She mentioned all the other countries except India who celebrate their independence or formation day on 15th of August. Uh, she mentioned and, and, I, and I have liked the comment and I've said well done. All right. So whatever homework I, I give you, uh, kindly do that. You know, put in the answers in the comment section. Okay. So that 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 is how you will search for the answer. That is how you will search for the answer. So Michelle Lee, B or D, Manisha saying, Vikram saying, Michelle D. Sonam saying 22B, Wong Yihan, then we have uh, Sai saying 22B, then we have, uh, okay, Sonam saying B, okay. So everyone, Muskan also saying B, oh, okay. So Anisha saying B. So everyone saying Wong Yihan, very nice, very nice. Option B, option B, Wong Yihan is wrong, guys. It's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. The answer is D, Michelle Lee. Michelle Lee is the kind of answer. She is from Canada. Okay, she's from Canada. Okay. Asha Muskan said she also liked Amrita. Yes, yes, yes. Lokpal said she shouts a lot. That is the way they pump, you pump your energy. Yeah. Uh, Caroline Marin, yeah, yeah, she's, she's amazing. Caroline Marin is amazing, yes. But we're talking about, uh, I think she's from Spain. I think she's from Spain. We're talking about Commonwealth Games, na? So Spain is not a part of Commonwealth Games. Okay. Okay, Spain was another colonizer. <laughs> Britain was also a colonizer. So, 22 is done. 23, next one. Okay, guys. 23. The Indian women's cricket team was beaten by which of the following countries to win a silver medal at the... Uh, to win... Uh, it should be gold medal. Not silver. They are asking Indian team, Indian women's team. The question says... Indians women Indian women's cricket team was beaten up was was beaten in the finals in the finals of the 2022 Commonwealth Games so which was the country that beat India in other words India won silver which of the following country won the gold Pakistan Sri Lanka New Zealand Australia who beat India in the finals or who won who won the women's cricket uh, gold in Commonwealth Games 2022 what is the answer uh, there is also a free fund information giving, uh, given in the question that India was defeated in the finals or India received silver medal. So information is given to us about India that India won silver medal or India was defeated. So that is extra information. The question is asking who won the gold medal. The question that is uh, framed is for who won the gold medal. So Vikram is saying option C, New Zealand. Okay. Now, now Vikram is saying option D, Australia. Okay, Australia. Vikram is saying Australia. What about others? Uh, Muskan is saying women's cricket team is less, uh, women's cricket, uh, women cricket is less popular, sir. Uh, yes, you are correct on a certain front, but it is, it has consistently gained pop popularity. That is also true. It was very unknown uh, previously, but now, but now, a lot of exposure has been given to it and uh, we, uh, a lot of us know uh, names of the cricket captain, Har Simran Kaur and, uh, and then uh, uh, then we have uh, uh, others as well, okay, Julian Goswami recently retired uh, and uh, Mitali, okay, so we are, uh, uh, we, Shefali Verma, so we know the names of people and uh, 
women's cricket is indian women's cricket is gaining popularity you know day by day and recently bcci has made that women's cricket and men's cricket their salary has been their uh, compensation or the remuneration has been made the same that is also a step in the right direction okay so australia uh, lok prakash muskan saying maybe d stai saying d and manisha saying d and sonam d and muskan uh, mithali yes 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 correct so option d is correct guys you guys were correct so australia women's australian team won the gold medal in the commonwealth games okay in the cricket competition okay yes uh, it, it's not the government bcci bcci 22 23 is done 24 24 which day of the year has been dedicated to being celebrated as world organ donation day annually so world organ donation day annually which is the following uh, 11 12 13 or 14 world organ donation day which is the following days i can see uh, uh, you are guys are liking the session consistently thank you for that thank you for liking the session giving us a thumbs up and marking your attendance so if you are someone who is just watching the session sipping your tea We're in a comfy blanket and having your breakfast, all the sandwiches, all right, all the paranthas, ghee laden paranthas, and not liking the session. This is not done, guys. You have to like the session, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी, the most important thing. If you are seasonal aspirant, सफलता matches out. Limited seats, amazing discount. Go and go and buy it. And uh, five test, one uh, in one rupee. That is crazy. That is super. so watch uh, buy that and solve it solve it just do not buy and keep buy it and just solve it what more you can ask for 1 rupees yeah okay kanak is saying 24 c sai say 24 c c is 13 kanak is saying c uh, and uh, sonam is saying c vikram saying c and we have uh, manisha saying c muskan saying c everyone is on the same page absolutely correct Absolutely get thirteenth of August. Now, yeah, what you have to remember, you have to remember three things: World Organ Donation Day, the day event, thirteenth, thirteenth, not twelfth, not tenth, not eleventh, but thirteenth, and August, not July, not September, not October, but August. Here, all the options are August, so pretty easy to remember. But in the examination, it might be thirteenth September, fourteenth November, thirteenth August, fourteenth July. We will like which is the right one. so these options are very very close okay all the days are not very very close so put special emphasis while learning make some trick guys may if you if you learn them plain simple vanilla no organ donation day 30 no if you learn them by plain simple vanilla technique you will forget them they are very very naughty they are very very volatile they'll just quickly evaporate they will not sit they are very mischievous these answers are very mischievous they will not sit in your head they will go away they'll move away you have to make a trick you have to make a very funny trick very you know something that is very personal to you or you only you can remember organ day 13th august something to do you have to do that that is how it it it, it has to be done otherwise they are very difficult there is a big pain point okay to remember which day comes on what and what is celebrating okay so muskan has made a trick 10th august fuel day and lion day on 13th august donation so very nice you remember this very very nice the whole objective of the session is you have to remember things once the session is done once everything is done you should remember it that is the logic if you don't remember it then you have to do it again next question 25 guys 25 the first khelo india women's hockey league under 16 is scheduled to be held at major dhyanchand stadium under 16 is scheduled to be held at major dhyanchand stadium The first Khelo India Women's Hockey League under 16 is scheduled to be held at Major Dhyan Chand Stadium in Dash, Bhubaneswar, New Delhi, Mumbai, or Gurugram. Where? Wow! Lok Prakash, Lok Prakash has done amazingly well. Lok Prakash says, "Organ donation, or organ donation has 13 alphabets." Super, yar! What mind, yar! What mind? Okay, amazing. But but also you have to also remember it is thirteenth of August, not July, not September, not November. So you have to make something for that as well. But very nice. Organ donation has thirteen letters, so thirteen alphabets. Yes, thirteen thirteen letters, not alphabets. Thirteen letters. Okay. So A to Z, A to Z, uh, that set of uh, all the letters are known as alphabets. 
So we have, if you count individual letters, they are called letters. But but super super brain, Lok Prakash. 25A, Muskan Singh, Bhuvaneshwar. Then we have Muskan Singh, Guru Gram, Haryana with a heart emoji. Okay. Okay, Vikram saying Delhi. Then Manisha saying Haryana. All right. So guys, Major Dhyan Chand Stadium is where? It is where? It is in New Delhi. The first Khelo India Women's Hockey League under 6 scheduled to be held at Major Dhyan Chand Stadium in Delhi, in New Delhi. All right. But, but super answering. Nice answers. Keep the answers coming in. Keep the answers coming in so that your brain works over time. And that is how current affairs are done. Brute force method. Brute force method. Just put, 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 put all the questions and then your brain start picking up. Okay, next one. Which of the following ministry has launched Smile 75 initiative? Before you answer the question, let me give you the full form of Smile. Smile is support for marginalized individuals uh, for livelihood and enterprise. I repeat, let me write it here. In the meantime, you can punch in your answers. Support for marginalized individuals for livelihood for livelihood and enterprise and 75 because we have completed 75 years of independence that's why 75 and in in uh, uh, and in simple simple words and in simple simple words this smile 75 is to rehabilitate, to help the poor of the country, the beggars, the beggars who are begging on the street, who have no, who, who have nowhere to go to, who have no livelihood, no enterprise, nothing. So this initiative is specially for them, especially for beggars. Okay, people who have to beg uh, for X, Y, Z circumstances. Okay, so uh, 26A, Sonam saying 26A, then we have Vikramaditya saying A, then we have Muskan saying A, then we have uh, Sai saying A, then we have uh, who else, who else, who else, Awan saying 26C, superb guys, superb. What about others, what about Lok Prakash, what about others? Like the session guys, give, the, give us a thumbs up and also answer. What do you think is correct? Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. I want the answer. So, Vikram, okay, Muskan saying it. All right. So, yes, yes, option A. Superb. So, option A, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. So, micro, uh, yes, yes. So, option A, yes, very nice. So, option A is wrong, guys. It is wrong. You, you have, you caught the wrong hint. It is, it is. It is a business. Enterprise, enterprise doesn't has to have to match. It is something else. Media, micro, small, medium, self-help group business. This is different, entirely different. Okay. Uh, the answer, guys, the answer is option D. Social justice and empowerment. I told you, it is of beggars. Empowering the people who beg, the unfortunate ones. Okay. So, answer is option D. All right. So now you will not forget, now you will not forget 75, smile 75, empowerment for beggars, for putting a smile on, a, on their faces. All right. Option D. Superb. Okay. Mm. So Sai, has, Sai is giving us information. Guys, Southern Region exam date and time and place announced, go and check. So anyone who has applied from the Southern Region, uh, it's, a, it's a news for you that exam uh, date Time and place has been announced. So, in other words, I'm say I'm I'm think um, I'm like uh, your admit cards are out. I guess your admit cards are out. Okay. Ah, uh, Muhammad Yunus. Uh, for that, the person received Nobel Prize. Awan, that person received Nobel Prize, and the discipline was microfinance. The, the discipline was my economics, and sub discipline was microfinance. Twenty six is done. Superb. Let's see twenty seven now. Twenty seven. Which of the following banks will manage the Indian visa application in Bangladesh 
फॉर टू मोर इयर्स फॉर टू मोर इयर्स ओके सो आवान हैज पेपर ऑन फिफ्थ डिसम्बर ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू ओके ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर द फॉलोइंग बैंक विल मैनेज द इंडियन वीजा एप्लीकेशन आई वी ए सी इन बांग्लादेश फॉर टू मोर इयर्स ओके सो इंडियन विच इंडिया बैंक विच इंडियन बैंक इज हैंडलिंग द इंडिया वीजा एप्लीकेशन इन बांग्लादेश एंड द ऑपरेशन ऑफ विच हैज बीन एक्सटेंड फॉर टू मोर इयर्स ओके ओके चलो नेक्स्ट वन आज ओर ट्वेंटी सेवन वट इज द आंसर वट इज द आंसर साई सेंग ए डिसम्बर एट सो आई लिव यू विद द क्वेश्चन and i'll take a small water break okay what is the answer guys i want i want everyone to answer so what is the answer for this one sbi hdfc canara bank or bank of baroda and uh, vikramath is saying c sawan saying imperial bank of india ha ah, yes sawan yes correct correct mohammad yunus did not receive for economics but for uh, peace yes the discipline was peace not economics peace discipline in 2006 in 2006 for microfinance okay uh, correct not economics but peace correct एस बी आई गोल्ड ने इम्पेयर बैंक ऑफ इंडिया करेक्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन डी विक्रम सिंह सी मुस्कान सिंह ट्वेंटी सेवन सी ओके ओके सुपर सुपर चलो यू वॉन्ट मी टू गिव योर हिंट द हिंट इज द बैंक इज द बिगेस्ट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया द आंसर इज द बैंक विच इज द बिगेस्ट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ओके विच इज द बिगेस्ट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सो विच इज दैट बैंक विच इज दैट बैंक इज इट एस बी आई इज इट एच डी एफ सी इज इट कैनरा बैंक और इज इट बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा Which one? What do you think is the correct one? Twenty-seven C C. Okay. Look, Prakash. Yes. Now the answers are flowing in. Now the answers are flowing in. So Muskan, what is the answer? Yes, Muskan is also correct. Look, Prakash is correct. Because Vikram Aditya is there. Section. No, 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 no. That that is applicable for bank exam. Not not for this one. Vikram Aditya, not for this one. SBI, SBI, correct. Yes, guys, you are correct. state bank of india sbi is absolutely correct you guys you guys got it right next question next one indian air force okay indian air force iaf con contingent left for dash to participate in a four day bilateral exercise udhar shakti so in other words india and which other country india and which other country uh, participate in an air exercise called udhar shakti okay Yeah, Sonam is correct. Yes, Sonam is also correct. Sir, doubt in GS paper only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, GS is a big pain point for everyone. Ah, uh, I wish, I wish we could have met earlier, so I would have, you know, helped you out a lot. But nonetheless, nonetheless, ah, uh, keep practicing, guys. Last minutes, last ah uh, minute strategy for every single one of you. Do previous year question. Do not try to learn anything new. Kindly, do not try to learn anything new. Do previous year question as many as possible. As many as possible. There is no limit. Okay. Do previous year question. Do sample papers. Download. Uh, buy the one rupee five mock paper uh, test. Do that. Okay. Do every question that you can lay your eyes on, lay your hands on. All right. Get them done. Muskan Nepal. Okay. 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 Superb. So Muskan has given the answer. So it is like Malaysia. All right. Let's see. I hope. I hope when the session is done, you you gain some knowledge. You gain some knowledge, and then you once you do a revision, then all the questions are done with done for you. Okay. So I am saying Malaysia. Superb. What is the answer, guys? Malaysia. I want. I want answers quickly. Quickly answer quickly. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So what is the answer? What is the answer? Malaysia. Aman saying Malaysia, and Sonam saying Malaysia. Low percent. Yes, guys. The correct answer option D. Malaysia. Malaysia is the correct answer. Kuala Lumpur is the capital. Malaysia is the correct answer. 
so in other words we can say uh, indian air force that is india and uh, which other country malaysia so india and malaysia india and malaysia this is the name of the exercise so this question can also be framed in a way india indian air force and malaysian air force they engage in a bilateral exercise called dash udara shakti would be the answer okay okay so uh, we come saying mm, consequently in english 2024 questions easily uh, maths 1820 questions reasoning 1820 questions is only way mocks uh, these are the way mocks are going but gs 8 to 10 i can understand that so uh we can say one thing that you can do so if you are 8 to 10 if you are at 8 to 10 and whatever mocks you gave every mock paper has 25 gs question correct every every question has 25 section has every uh, every paper has 25 gs question so once you are done with the paper make sure that you remember all 25 questions you learn all 25 of them all right all 25 of them and uh, if if rest of the sections are correct then you can get a this thing uh, previous year paper for general awareness read the book that is a method called brute force method read the questions in the examination nobody is going to nobody is going to ask you uh, whether do you understand the concept of this whether do you understand how cyclones are formed how mountains were formed no what is the question what is the answer so it's called brute force method where in just before the exam only current of only gs section you just taking all the questions you learning them so desperate time desperate measures okay if you would have longer this time duration then we, we would have you know worked in a better way but this time do questions whatever question it uh, features in your mock paper learn it once the paper is done you know make sure that you know all the 25 gs question all the 25 of them okay if you forget one then there's a chance it might come in the exam and might give you some pain so do not let that chance happen do every question do every question just expand your horizon of questions okay if let's just say if you are doing 500 questions and 25 will come in the exam there is a chance that some will come but if you come if you do 5000 questions then you have just broadened your horizon you just broadened your uh, bank of questions so that will help you to you know map questions okay super uh, vikram is saying i am going to uh, i'm going mocks in example app only Super, super, very nice, very nice. Okay, chalo. Next one, twenty nine. Next one, twenty nine. Which country president proposed a global peace commission? The country, the president of which country proposed a global peace, global peace commission? Ah, uh, wherein the person? Okay, the question is: There is a president of a country. That person has said. that in the world there are lot of problems in the world there are lot of problems so there should be a peace commission made up of antonio guterres that is the un uh, secretary general and pope francis number 1 person number 2 person and number 3 person should be indian prime minister narendra modi ji okay so num three person should be a they should be a group of three person and they should go and talk to every country if there is a problem and they should maintain the uh, world order so which of the following countries president has said that that is the question so now we are saying um acha yes muskan is saying i am giving you upadhi avan i am giving you upadhi so titles are being given yes avan you um avan is saying i am milan and vipan goel sir <laughs> okay avan okay 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 so avan avan always avan is kind enough to always you know given some extra information always so whatever discussing he always provide us with some extra knowledge so extra information extra knowledge is always always welcome okay is always welcome so muskan muskan has given upadhi okay super so what is the answer guys what is the answer what is the answer vikram muskan sonam avan and uh, others what is the answer others everyone everyone who is watching session i am requesting every single one of you to answer okay so what do you think is the right answer which country's president 
Spain, Mexico, US, Japan, Russia, which country's president? Which country's president has given us uh, this proposal that PM Modi should be one of the persons for peace committee? Okay. So, the correct answer, the correct answer is option B, Mexico. Mexico is the correct answer. Okay. Chalo. Let's do the last one. Last question of the day. Last question of the day. Question number 30. The first edition, the first edition of the Women Indian Premier League will be starting from March Dash. Women's Indian Premier League will be starting from Dash. When? So I can see the answers coming now. Uh, Mexico and all that. Uh, you guys were a uh, were little slow and answering. So I've moved on. I've answered the question and moved on. So this is the last question of the day, guys. So Avan is again with the information that Mexico City, Mexico City is the um, uh, capital country of uh, Mexico. Uh, Avan, can anyone also mention a, 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 a capital which also ends with city? We have Mexico City. Then can you can you mention another capital of a country which also ends with city? Let's see that. How many of you can do that? So, Vikram saying uh, 23, Muskan saying 23, uh, Sonam saying 23, and Kanak saying 30, see, that is 23. Awan is also saying 23. So, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, the correct answer, guys, the correct answer is, how can I say no to that? Because you have answered such, such amazing answers. So, you guys have been very, very amazing throughout from the start of the session till the end. So, the correct answer, guys, first edition of Women Indian Premier League will be starting from March 2023. So, your answer was absolutely correct. So, option C was absolutely correct, 2023. So, every single one of you is correct. So, last question, you hit the ball out of the park. So, it was absolute 6 on the last one. So, my question was, apart from Mexico City, which uh, other capital of a world of, of, of any country of the world that also ends with the word city and the correct answer is Kuwait city Kuwait is the capital uh, is the country and the capital is Kuwait city okay all done all set all uh, everything sorted so uh, thank you thank you guys for joining in today so we are ending we are concluding the session now so thank you thank thanks a lot for joining in today and coming to the session and special thanks to every single one of you who has managed muskan was from the very start till the very end like you know always she's she's the first one to come and last one to go and others as well others as well so all of you have uh, come and grace the session i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow uh, tomorrow is sunday so as you know on sunday we do revision so sunday will be revision of previous weeks so, this entire week, all the questions shall be revised. Okay. All the questions. So, if you missed any session uh, in the week today, in, the, in this week. Okay. So, in this week. So, uh, entire weeks, all the questions, the most important ones shall be discussed tomorrow, every Sunday, 8 to 10. We have uh, your revision classes. Okay. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Lok Prakash saying, thanks, sir. Muskan saying, your class made the day. Smiley, thank you, sir. So, I've made Muskan, Muskan. Okay, so I've made Muskan smile. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Chalo. Guys, thank you so much. See you guys tomorrow. And, and also, 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 geography, geography session, geography, previous year, geography, previous year, PYQ session today, not at, not at 3 to 5, not at 3 to 5, but 4 to 6. But, 4 to 6. Okay. Yeah, Sonam also joined from very start. Yes. Thank you, Sonam as well. Thank you, every single one of you. And 4 to 6 p.m. today, geography, PYQs. Okay. Chalo, I'll, I'll see you guys today again, 4 to 6. And Sunday, revision session of the entire current affairs. All right. Chalo, chalo, chalo. All right. Bye-bye, guys. See you, see you, see you. Take care. Bye-bye.